will be announced on Friday, but you've got a preview for us, as you kind of mentioned there, beginning with the National League. Take us through who you think will start for the NL. Yeah, so I think Wilson Contreras will be the starting catcher. Uh, you know, look, I, I think he's got a clear advantage over uh, Travis Darno. Paul Goldschmidt over Pete Alonso at first base. Jazz Chisholm, I think, will start at second because Vazi Albi's being on the injured list. Otherwise, I think he'd be there. Shortstop's going to be interesting. It could go either way with Trey Turner or Dansby Swanson. I like Trey Turner because of the stolen base and what he can do at the top of the lineup. I think it'll be Manny Machado at third over Nolan Arenado, but that one's going to be close. Of course, Ronald Acuna is already in as a starter. Mookie Betts and Doc Peterson, I think, will uh, finish up the outfield. And then Bryce Harper at DH. So not a lot of big questions outside of who's going to start. Now, if they decide to go with who's pitched the best, it'll be Sandy Alcantara. If they go with who's going to sell the most tickets and give us the best TV ratings, it'll be the hometown Clayton Kershaw. That's right. Kershaw over Gonsolin. It'll be very fascinating to see where it falls out. Probably going to be the future Hall of Famer, but I'd like to see Alcantara. Why? Because he's earned it, Akeem. So with that, hold on a second. Would that then be this legends clause that Rob Manfred would pull out? Because Ker I don't know. Can you make a can you make an argument that Kershaw is deserving of an all-star spot outside of that clause? Oh, yeah, absolutely okay. I can. I, I think he absolutely is pitched like an all-star, no doubt about it. I don't think it's the clause. I think that clause is for Albert Pools and Miguel Cabrera. Not for Kershaw. I think he's pitched well enough to not only make the all-star team, but to start the all-star team. And I'm not going to be surprised if that's the direction uh, the National League ends up going. But again, I'm voting Alcantara if it's me. Okay. All right. Five and two of the 2.57. But uh, he's a first ballot future Hall of Famer nonetheless. All right. Now for your AL all-star starters. The biggest debate here is who should DH, Jordan Alvarez or Shohei Otani? What do you say? Yeah, I'm going with Jordan Alvarez because he's had a better offensive year. He's been the best offensive player in the American League. So I, I know it's not the popular thing, but th that's where I'm going. Alejandro Kirk behind the plate's a no-brainer. Vladimir Guerrero, Al Altuve. I think Tim Anderson's a debate with Bo Bichette, but I'm going Anderson because of batting average. Rafael Devers and Jose Ramirez. I hate to do it to you, Keith. I know brutal. much you love Ramirez, and brutal. I love him as much as you do. I wish we could start both at third base, but we can't. So that's where I'm going to go there. But I, I think Otani may end up starting the game for the American League, but Shane McClanahan of Tampa Bay has had the best first half. That's who would start the game for me. But look, even if Otani isn't the starting pitcher or the starting DH, you'll see him by the third inning and probably play the rest of the game. Baseball knows he's the face of the franchise, and internationally for ratings, he better play most of the game. Regardless if he's the starting pitcher, the DH are coming off the bench. Jose Ramirez is, is an MVP candidate, and you don't even have him starting the All-Star game. I mean, this, se this segment was, this segment was going categories. so well right till the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Devers is really good, but Jose Ramirez is my guy. Again, All-Star starters will be announced tomorrow, 7 Eastern time. Jim Bowden, still an All-Star for us here on CBS Sports HQ. Jim, thanks. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.